Hey guys, my name is Tom and this is Homecraft Chronicles. I have a feeling on today's project, no matter how it turns out, I'm going to end up in hot water. Stick around. Naturally, the first step in this project is you're going to want to turn the breaker off. These are typically going to be a double 15 or 20 amp breaker, so just make sure you turn it off and throw some tape over it so nobody can come back behind you and turn it on without you knowing it. Now I know I've turned the breaker off, but it doesn't hurt to check. This is electricity after all. I just have a regular tester that if it's on, like this wire, it'll show red. Next, after the breaker's off, you gotta drain the tank. Down the bottom of the tank, you have a drain valve. You just hook it up to a garden hose. Luckily for me, I have a drain right in my basement. I can just open it up and drain out the tank. Things will go a lot quicker if you open a hot water line furthest away from the tank. Then go ahead and shut off the inlet. Once you're empty, you're good to go. You can start by unhooking the electricity. It's usually just a couple of screws and a couple of wire nuts. You can have that wire out in no time. Yep, I'm double checking it again. And a third time. You can never be too careful when it comes to electricity. Then just undo all the wires, and it's free. Next step, you gotta cut free the pipes going into the tank and coming out of the tank. You can use a pipe cutter, a hacksaw, a reciprocating saw, anything that'll cut copper pipe will do. Then once your tank's freed up, it is out with the old, Make sure you take the plugs out of the top of the tank. Just screw in your hose pipe connectors and then snug them up with a wrench. Projects that I encounter here, um, we have a slight little redesign. This this heater is about a foot and a half taller, so my pipes aren't exactly lining up the way I need them to be. So uh, I'm going to have to take these off. Obviously, I went back to the store and I got some different pipes, different hoses, I mean, that will make this project a lot easier to do. Then it's as easy as just taking the old pipe off and putting the new one on. I do like how this new hose that I got has a shutoff valve already integrated right on the end. It saves me a lot of time. Then you just line up the hoses where your cuts are going to be, and then I just snip them off with a hosing cutter. Oh, and in case I haven't mentioned, shark bites are awesome. 
repeat the process for the inlet line. Once you have your plumbing all squared away, you can go back and hook up your electricity. Just do it in the reverse order that you took it off. In my case, it's black wire to black wire, white wire to white wire, and green wire to ground wire. Cinch them up good with wire nuts. And electrical tape. Tuck everything back in the panel and screw on the cover. Then just make sure you tighten down the wire clamp so that doesn't go anywhere. After you have the water back on and you're sure it's not leaking, you can open up the control panel and check the thermostat. Mine comes factory set at 120, but you can adjust it up and down as needed. Then just turn on the electricity and heat up the water. Minus the time it took me to go back and get extra parts, I installed this 50 gallon electric water heater. With some basic electrical and plumbing skills, you can get this thing in and save yourself easily a couple of hundred dollars. So if you like this project, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to Homecraft Chronicles. There are going to be a lot more projects just like this coming down. So until I see you next time, take care.